Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. How's it going? This is Silver Hyena, and for today's brand new video, I have something that I am most intrigued about. Pearlescent paint markers. I have absolutely zero idea of what to expect. All I know is that they are Crayola Signature, there are 10 of them, and I found these at Target. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive into this. Starting with the unboxing. Oh wow. <laughs> this thing has been sitting in my room for quite a while. So, Crayola Signature Pearlescent Paint Markers offer robust colors in a satiny gloss finish. They are perfect for hand lettering and other projects on light or dark paper, as well as glass, plastic, ceramics, and more. You can add extra dimension with the included iridescent color changer marker. Okay, so we technically have nine colors plus an iridescent color changer. So, we're gonna see how that works. Anyways, same with all of these Crayola things, even if I don't, I, I, I love the tin. I, Sometimes with Crayola Signature, it is really hit or miss. Speaking of hit or miss, I am going to go get my scissors in just a moment. Okay. So what I was saying was that Crayola Signature can be really hit or miss. And I think that was about the extent of it. Because, okay, <laughs> sorry, I had completely lost my train of thought. Train of thought derailed. Like, for example, I loved the Crayola Signature tricolored colored pencils. I loved those. I had so much fun with those. The Crayola Signature Blending Markers, while they didn't perform as advertised, I still really, really enjoyed using them. But, like, the Crayola Blending Shade Color Pencils? Eh. Okay, anyways. We're getting on to this. The Pearlescent Plate... the The Pearlescent Paint Markers, not plaint markers. Ooh. Well, like they look quite nice in the box there. Okay, so with cap on, shake marker vigorously for 20 seconds. Remove cap, place tip on scratch paper, then pump, press up and down, and release rapidly. Continue pumping tip until ink flows through the tip up to 60 seconds. Once ink fully saturates the tip, marker is ready for use. And the iridescent color changer, use separately or on top of the pearlescent paint marker colors for color shifting effects. Oh, I'm... Color me intrigued. Now, the paper that I have down here is watercolor paper, mainly because I knew that these were paint pens and I wasn't sure what to expect. So I just chose the thickest paper I had. Okay, so good look at the barrel. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. <clears throat> A good look at the barrel. Got the names written on it and geez I do not know what it is today but my lighting is is ugh. 
Not looking good. Okay, hopefully that gives you a better look. Got the names on it. Let's take a look. The tip, but... Oh, it's even got a little bead in there. Okay. Let's see if this... There, it, it's starting to come through. So there it is with the color. Overall, not bad. have like that nice pearlescent shimmer yeah it might not really show because it's the, the paint itself is still wet anyways I'm gonna swatch out the rest of these and then I will be right back with you so just a moment Okay, sorry for the mess. I had tried to use the iridescent on the black before the black was fully dry, and then that made a mess, but you can definitely see the pearlescent shine. I mean, this is just the swatching stage, but so far, I'm pretty hopeful. Now, it's time to do an actual drawing with them. Alrighty, so I've actually swapped out to some nice Bristol paper. Hmm. Something on the other side I didn't like. So yeah, um, I'm gonna just uh, sketch something out. I have no idea what. All I know is that I'm gonna... We're gonna do something! Okay, so we've got our base, obviously the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens, love these things. Now I'm probably going to go over these trees with this again because it got a little streaky in places, I'm not too thrilled with that, but I want to go over select areas with the, oh, jeez, butterfingers, with this paint pen just to give it a little bit of 
glitter. Now, our color, geez, lid is, okay. So our colors are quite, quite limited. I'm thinking of using blue, purple, pink for the wolf. Maybe with some black, if I get truly desperate, I'll bring out my Faber-Castell grayscale just for some form of depth. Although I might see if I can get that with green as well. And then the background, I figured use the red, orange, and yellow. Get some fall colors in there. So, we'll see what we can do with these. It's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna be an experiment. So, I'll have to say, the more I used these paint pens, the more I started to not really care for them. Now, I'll see about trying these out on some other surfaces, just to see how they work out, but as far as using them on paper, I was not terribly impressed. Which is really saddening, because I so wanted to like these paint pens. I've seen other artists use the Posca paint pens, or other paint pens that are similar, and so I've been curious about these sorts of things. It wasn't even the limited color selection that got to me. I can work with that. What got to me was the fact that you had to fight to get the ink flowing. Well, paint in this case. That got old real fast. But the other issue was getting these paints to blend. I found that they don't blend too well, at least not on paper. Like I said earlier, I really, really wanted to like these. Alas, it was not meant to be. Alrighty, so here is the finished piece. My overall thoughts on these, um, eh, were they worth the $18 plus tax I spent on them? Not really. Overall, I had such high hopes for them, and they kind of crushed my hopes, so to speak. It got to a point where, with some of these, they are just so lightweight, you can't even really tell how much ink is in them. Some of them, it felt like it was running out of ink, and... 
uh, I, th there came a point where I wasn't really having all that much fun because I was so busy fighting with them. Oh, and never mind that. Another thing finished. Yay, getting stuff done. But overall, if I had to rate these, my first impression is about a 3 out of 10. I was not impressed. But sometimes the only way you can really know if something is for you is to pick it up and try it out for yourself. Anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful in some way. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you would like to help out the channel, I will have a link to my PayPal in the description below. Or, you could visit my Redbubble and pick up some neat merch. Anyways, this is Silver Hyena signing off, and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!